Hey there, Cancer. Good afternoon and welcome to your mid-July tarot reading. It's great to be able to connect with my Cancerian soul family members out there. Hope you're all having a beautiful day today. Today is Tuesday, Tuesday, July the 13th. Time on my end is about 2.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So Cancer, I'm excited to have you here. Whether your sun sign is Cancer, your moon arising sign is Cancer, maybe you have Cancer in your Venus. Some of you may be here checking up on a Cancer in your life, cross-watching. I get it. I've done it before. Uh, some of you may just be intuitively guided to be here. Right? It may, it may have just been a feeling said so click on this tarot reading it may have been a word or a number that you saw but something intuitively said click on this reading trust those energies i'm excited to have you here so if you're new to the channel welcome my name of my channel is tree uh tree of life tarot so welcome to tree of life tarot my name's carrie i'm excited to connect with all of you hope you guys enjoy my energy and my style of tarot reading look Moving forward as a tarot reader, what I'm always creating, I mean, the energies that come out are the energies that come out, right? That's part of the story. That's part of the truth. But you'll notice I'm not going to stay stuck in a lot of heavy energies. I'm not stirring up and creating a lot of drama. The direction I'm going with the tarot reading is I'm always trying to create the best possible outcome for you because that just makes sense to me. At the end of the day, we're all creators. And if you're a creator, why would you not want to try to create the best possible outcome for yourself? So, Cancer, let's get started with your tarot reading. Um, this is the second tarot reading that I've done for Cancer this month. And by the way, happy birthday, Cancer. I know you guys are right in the midst, right in the heart of, your, of the birthday month right now. So, wishing you all a beautiful birthday this year. Um, but what was I saying before that? Oh, I did another tarot reading earlier this month. It's available here on the channel in my playlist under the July Zodiac tarot readings. So in that tarot reading, I provided Cancer your astrological forecast for the month of July. It's in the beginning of it. So if you haven't had a chance to watch that tarot reading yet, I encourage you to watch it. Um, I can't I honestly, I can't even remember what that specific tarot reading was about, but I feel like it was a beautiful tarot reading. Um, but yeah, if you haven't had a chance to watch it, take a minute watch that tarot reading, watch the astrological forecast. And what that is, is we just look at the month of July and we see which planets are moving into which specific houses and what those energies are going to be like for cancer, how those energies are going to impact you. That's everything I covered in your astrological forecast. So but we're not going to go over your forecast today. We're going to get right into your tarot reading. But before I do that, I'm going to spend a, just a few minutes and I want to talk about you, cancer. I want to talk about your traits. So for starters, how do I know whether or not I'm a Cancer, right? You'll know if your sun sign is a Cancer if you're born between the dates of June the 21st and July the 22nd. It means your sun sign is Cancer. Uh, cancer, in the world of zodiacs, if there's three terms that define Cancer energy, you would be considered the caretaker, the protector, and the deep feeler. Your water sign at the end of the day, Cancer. So. You guys live and experience life through feeling, which is a beautiful thing. Okay, so your element is water. Your favorite color, color that resonates strong with cancer energy is white, purity. Days of the week for cancer, Mondays and Thursdays. Your ruling planet is the moon, right? So, wow, you guys are ruled by the moon. The moon changes and shifts more than any of the other planets out there. Uh, greatest overall compatibility with other signs and again this is not my opinion it's the opinion of an astrologer out there Capricorn and Taurus energies lucky numbers for cancer are 2 3 15 and 20 emphasis on the number 2 strengths for cancer you're tenacious you're highly inter highly imaginative loyal emotional sympathetic and persuasive and look, how important is that energy of having a good imagination? I think it trumps all energies, to be honest with you. Weaknesses. Cancers can be moody, pessimistic, suspicious at times, manipulative, and a little bit insecure. Right. So those are the challenging energies, Cancer. Don't trip. Cancer likes. You love art, home-based hobbies, right? doing things at home, crafts and things like that, creating, uh, relaxing, near or in water 
because you're a water sign. Helping loved ones. A good meal with family and friends, right? Cancer, you're the homebody energy, the crabs in the zodiac world. You love to be around home and family. It's just an energy that resonates strong with cancers. Cancer dislikes. You dislike strangers. Uh, any criticism or... Any, yeah, yeah. Any criticism, I guess, of any sort, and then revealing anything in personal life, right? So, yeah, you don't like things just to be thrown out and talked about you and revealed personally. You know, it's like think, think before you, before you're gonna say that about me, right? Because after all, at the end of the day, you're talking about me. All right, Cancer, let's get into your tarot reading. Uh, for your tarot spread today, I'm going to do the Celtic Cross. I'm using three decks of cards. This first deck is my Affirmations deck, and it's called The Universe Has Your Back. Cancer, let's just see which affirmation your guides feel would be best suited for you to hear, taking us into your mid-July. And keep in mind, Cancer, right? If these energies aren't resonating with you right now, you've got, you've got almost two and a half, three weeks left this month, so stick around. Okay, new affirmation. I'm going to throw on my spectacles. This affirmation says, I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. Okay, that's pretty beautiful. I'm going to read it one more time. Cancer, I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. So I love this affirmation. So we're talking about two different energies here. Right? And the two different energies are the contrast, the conflict, right? That each and ever each of us have on a day-to-day -day basis. You have the light, you know, and then here you have the dark as well. So we have this this battle, this internal battle going on with us, you know, of of balancing these energies right and really darker energies we're typically motivated by fear right with those energies as opposed to the contrasting energy which is representing the energy of love so i feel like cancer you know we're likely going to be talking about those two motivating factors in your tarot reading today right fear and love but let's find out let's change decks i'm going to switch over to my Let's see, what is this deck called? Right, Psychic Tarot by John Holland. I want to pull two energies from this deck for you. This first energy is going to represent your present energy, or the energy taking us into your tarot reading may represent the energy of the matter at hand. Yours comes to us, Cancer, as awareness, right? So the energy of the magician, beautiful energy to take us into your tarot reading. So Look, at the end of the day, we may, may be talking about, you know, the awareness. The awareness of, am I motivated by fear or am I motivated by love, right? Bringing those energies to your, into your awareness. We're going to pull some clarifiers and find out more. But let's pull one more energy from this deck. And this is going to show up as the challenging energy for Cancer mid-July. Okay, the challenge for you, Cancer, is suffering in silence, right? So some of you may be in this energy right now. You may be going through some type of some type of suffering, and I get this energy. I understand it because look, when when I'm in some difficult energies in my life, I'm not out there meeting and greeting people at the doorfront. I'm not. I'm cooped up, right? A lot of times I go into hibernation, and I'm one of the. I, I'm a qualifier. For this energy of suffering in silence so i get it right and that's the challenge right so we don't want to don't want to be spending too much alone time this month in july maybe just enough time let's clarify awareness please clarify awareness for cancer the magician coming out clarifying the magician yeah so Cancer, look, at, at the end of the day, 
right? Why is the magician and, and, and awareness, other magician energy coming out? You're in the energy, right? You're probably getting some universal planetary help right now. This is a high manifesting time for you, right? So just really being aware of like, what is my intention behind whatever it is I'm manifesting, right? Am I manifesting out of fear um, or am I manifesting out of love? Notice that the magician is standing above a white dove, right? So I'm in this energy. I have an awareness that I'm gonna manifest with love interesting love it please clarify the magician for cancer please clarify the magician for cancer okay beautiful coming in attached to the magician is the star card so Aquarius energy just showed up for those of you cancers that may be connected to an Aquarius you may be manifesting this Aquarius in your life, right? Two birds flying above the head of the magician. So this is a beautiful energy that many times we take on and we embrace. A lot of times after we've went through something difficult in life, right? Going through, you know, healing. This is almost like icing on the cake when it comes when it comes to healing, um, because she's very balanced, right? Because she's kind of went through the motions right here. Very balanced is she's pouring a cup of water into the water, and she's pouring a cup of water into the land right so I'm very balanced with what I'm manifesting and I'm in the energy of I'm manifesting all of my hopes and dreams so cancer wow what a start for your tarot reading let's move down to suffering in silence let's clarify this queen of wands energy attached to suffering in silence so some of you may be connected to an Aries Leo Sagittarius energy and it may be them, right? Who's in this energy of suffering and silence right now? Let's find out. Please clarify the Queen of Wands for Cancer. Attached to the Queen of Wands, we have the Six of Cups, representing the energy of somebody from your past, right? So I feel like what's being said here, Cancer, is you have somebody in your life who has a lot of fire-like energy, right? They don't have to be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but you know, this is somebody who dresses themselves up. Um, they walk into a room and like all eyes in the room turn to this person right here, right? Not just because of their physical beauty, but more so because of their energy, right? And look, eyes. I feel like this person has fantastic eyes, right? The kind of eyes that literally can light up a room. So attached to Six of Cups, somebody from your past right here. Um, and this could be, you know, somebody from your past in the energy of suffering in silence. Um, let's move down to focus on energy here. Actually, before we do that, let's clarify the Six of Cups. It's got me really curious. Please clarify the Six of Cups for Cancer. Clarifying it with another six right here. Uh, six of Wands energy. Victory and triumph. So we have the energy of victory and triumph that's connected, right, to somebody from your past right here. You know, victory and triumph is saying, you know, when the two of you are together, right, they're good energies. It's almost like maybe it's the two of you when you're together that both of you are embracing this magician energy. It's like, wow. Our energies are so fantastic together, we can create and manifest anything. Let's move down to focus on energy. Tell us about focus on energy for cancer, please. Moon card wanted to come out. Uh, Pisces energy. Please clarify the moon card for cancer. It's your ruling planet, by the way. Uh, so yeah, Pisces or Cancer energy. So this may very well represent your energy. Please clarify the moon card for Cancer. Okay, so the energy that's coming in attached to the moon card is the Two of Pentacles. Maintaining balance here. Just like the figure here on the card, she has these two pentacles on the ends of her arms, right? And she's balancing these pentacles. So, what you're in the energy of balancing exactly 
as I'm balancing the light and the dark energies within me. I'm balancing my light side, my essence energy, and I'm balancing my shadow side, right? And look, we say shadow side, there isn't anything wrong with, with that shadow energy. Contrast is needed in life, right? We can't all just be good, beautiful, and wonderful all the time. We wouldn't know any different, right? Because there would be no contrast there. So this is about balancing these light and dark energies within you. Um, so really, yeah, what you're in the energy of balancing is fear and love. Let's move over to the past. Tell us about past energies for cancer, please. Seven of Cups wanted to come out. Past energy, a lot of choices, right? A lot of different opportunities. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. Please clarify the Seven of Cups for Cancer. Okay, connected to the past, you have Aries energy coming in as the Emperor. So some of you may have been connected to an Aries in the past, right? And this, this energy may have been an option for you, right? An option amongst a lot of other options right here. And it's interesting, you know, Aries comes in because we have the Queen of Wands energy, right? Some fire that's already showed up. So I have a lot of choices that are out there. Offered all of these cups, right? But there's only one cup that has a rainbow coming out of it, right? That's your choice. That's the choice that you're wanting to make. Uh, so look, at the end of the day, this one choice, maybe this is representing the energy of this Aries. So you could have an Aries in your life. Um, interesting. Let's move up to strengths. But I feel like, right, for others, it's just the fact in the past, you know, knowing that I'm, that I have a lot of choices empowers you, right? It makes you feel good. It's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not limited. The world's my oyster. I could go any direction that I want. And, and it's having that kind of freedom, that ability, really puts you in your power here. Let's move up, move up to strengths. Tell us about strengths for cancer, please. Three of Wands energy wanted to come out. What is your strength? Looking at the journey that lies ahead, right? There's a new journey. It's coming, your awareness of that coming in as your strength. I mean, yeah, after all, it gives you something to get excited about here. Okay, beautiful. Energy that's coming in attached to the Three of Wands comes to us as another three. Three and three, 33, interesting. Uh, Empress energy, so this is your strength. I'm looking at the journey moving forward and I know, I know where I'm headed, right? I'm looking at the road that's in front of me, but I'm taking out my crystal ball. I'm going to hold it up to the sun because I want to see what comes out. Here I see these two rays of light. Two. Or was I seeing two earlier? Look at these two birds up here with the magician. And the magician energy coming in two times for you. So I feel like you're in the energy, Cancer, right? Of manifesting. Could be a trip. <laughs> it could be a vacation right here. Yeah. Manifesting a journey. Moving ahead. And... There's something about this journey that's really going to serve you well because it's going to give you the opportunity to put you in the energy of the Empress, which is giving you the ability, right, to feel your connection to everything in life, to all forms of life, all people, biological, rock, everything is life in life, right? So your ability to feel that connection to everything, which at the end of the day, you feel anything but alone, right? I feel my value and I feel my worth because I know that I'm connected to everything. The sky, I am the sky. The wind, I am the wind. The rain, I am the rain. You're everything, Cancer. And your realization that you are everything is an energy that serves you well. Okay, let's move over to uh, future. Tell us about future energies from the past, please. Ten of Pentacles, right? Had a lot of abundance that came in, right? Choices 
connected to my past, knowing that I have a lot of choices, really put me in my power. And those choices took you towards some abundance in your life. Ten of Pentacles energy. Let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Please clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Cancer. Please clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so attached to the Ten of Pentacles, you have the World card. So in the past, right, I was in the energy of having a lot of choices, right? And maybe at the end of the day, I chose rightly. Right? I chose. I, I took the choice of the cup that has this rainbow coming out of it, right? And it put you in the energy of now I'm feeling the abundance in my life, right? Beautiful energies right here. So much so that it put you in the energy of I feel like I've changed my world. World card represents the energy of you know. It's like this abundance that is coming in from these choices. I feel like I just stepped out of this dimension into it a completely different dimension. Why is that happening? It's you. It's your vibrations because you're vibrating at such a higher vibration that it's impacting every every aspect of your life. Okay, suggested approach for cancer, please. Suggested approach for cancer. Okay. You have two energies coming in. First energy comes to us as the unknown card, right? Staring into the crystal ball. Why is this? Why is this energy coming in under suggested approach, right? It's because when I'm looking into the crystal ball and I want to see what things look like moving forward, the crystal ball is clouded, right? So don't let that discourage you at the end of the day, because regardless. Just pay attention to your own energy, right? And if your own energy is good, Cancer, you know, here's your energy coming in, the chariot card, that the changes, the different energies that are coming into you, you know that they're going to be good energies. They're going to serve your highest good. So really, you can stare into the crystal ball wanting to know what things look like moving forward, but you don't really have to see because you know whatever's coming is good. And it's good because your energy is balanced. But let's just clarify this unknown card. Let's clarify the unknown card in the extended tarot reading. Okay, what it is you need to know, Cancer. Please tell us what Cancer needs to know, please. Okay, we've got three energies here. Uh, first energy coming to us is the Knight of Pentacles, right? What I need to know, I need to be reminded that my life is a destined journey, right? And destined journeys take time. It's the slowest moving of the night energies, but it's the most reliable energy. So I take those two components and to me it just screams destiny, right? So this is your energy. I may veer off the path here or there, but I have my staff, my stick, right? To guide me back onto the path. Um, this destined journey coming in attached to, well, I'm being reminded with this Ace of Swords energy that I'm on a destined journey right here. And that good things take time in life. Attached to the Ace of Swords, we have the King of Wands energy, which is kind of interesting because earlier we had the Queen of Wands in your tarot reading. So we have a King and Queen of Wands right here. Don't get thrown off by the fire energy. Uh, I feel like, Cancer, your energy is represented by one of these energies. you know. And I think, I mean, what it is you need to know is like, that my destined, my journey is a destined journey and it's the slowest moving journeys, right? And I'm embracing this understanding, this new way of thinking, that good things take time. And when I do, it gives you the opportunity now, I'm just fired up about it, right? Now that I have this new enlightened understanding. Okay, wow, what a good, what a good energy to be reminded that you're on your destined journey. Hopes and fears for cancer, please. Tell us about hopes and fears. 
Okay, now we've got too many energies. If they're meant to come out, they'll come out again. Tell us about hopes and fears for cancer. King of Cups wanted to come out. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. You may be hoping, right, for this for another water sign energy, right? I feel like this is likely representing, you know, your energy. You know, when is the King of Cups water sign energy most happy? King of Cups is most happy when he's surrounded by his loved ones, when he's feeling a very balanced energy. You know, this is somebody who's patient, somebody who's understanding, somebody who's a gentleman. You know, he opens the doors, right, for people. It's very compassionate individual. I'm just sorry, I'm just I'm feeling a lot from this King of Cups energy. This may be very well representing your energy right here. Um, you know, what am I what I'm hoping for is I'm hoping for a world of love. Okay, coming in attached to the King of Cups energy. We got the Queen of Cups. So, hopes and fears, right? My hope is I want the King and the Queen of Cups to be together, right? I want this love to be an everlasting kind of love, you know? I'm just something about this King and Queen of Cups. It's like you're both just so loving. You know, what I'm what I'm kind of feeling is that you know, at home it's like when you're when you're moving around the house and you're you're passing each other, it's like both of you are mindful, not because you feel an obligation to do it, but you're you're making a stop, right? To just check in and to just touch the other person, even if it's just to go by and to brush their shoulder, right, and touch them just a little bit. I feel like the two of you share this strong, beautiful kind of connection. Okay, let's move up to the potential future here. Tell us about the potential future for cancer, please. Justice coming in. So Libra energy wanted to show up. Please tell us about potential future for cancer. Attached to justice, you have the three of swords. So the three of swords, past energy, sadness, grief, heartbreak. Moving forward, whatever broke your heart in the past, justice comes in and heals it. Justice comes in and makes up for that. Maybe in, a, in maybe kind of a magical way. Just staring at these magician energies here. Okay, tell us more about the potential future for cancer. Four of Cups energy wanted to come out. Let's clarify the Four of Cups. I, mean, I feel like the Four of Cups is coming in, right? For those of you Cancers that maybe when Justice shows up, right, to overcome this Three of Swords energy, it may be difficult for some of you, right, to really be able to let go, to let go of the sadness and the grief. You know, so the Four of Cups could be showing up, right? I'm just staring here at this cup right in front of me. It's like I can't, can't get my mind off it. Maybe I can't get my mind off the sadness and the grief because she looks pretty sad right there. Please clarify the Four of Cups. For cancer. Seven of Swords energy, right? Going through the motions right here. Maybe feeling a little bit scattered, a little bit overwhelmed. So it's almost like, you know, you have two different directions that you can go. You can stay stuck in the past, stuck in the pain. Or you can embrace this magician energy and create and you can manifest. You can allow Libra's energy to come in. Justice, right? To bring you fairness. To bring you balance. Um, giving yourself, take a chance off of taking your mind off of the disappointing past, right? You got to take my mind off this person right here that maybe brought you this three of swords energy, right? Because when I'm in that energy, I feel like I'm just going through the motions right here. Yeah, and you're going through the motions because it's repeating patterns and behaviors. This is all about repeating patterns 
and behaviors right here. So when, when I'm in that energy and when I'm in this energy, what am I going to do? I'm going to repeat patterns. Or I can let go of the painful past completely. And let justice come in and bring you the balance that you're seeking. Okay, Cancer, I think I'm done with your tarot reading here. Wow, you guys had a beautiful reading. I hope it resonates with each and every one of you. I hope you enjoyed this tarot reading and the messages and the energies that came out for you. Um, I'm going to do an extended tarot reading for you and I'll make the extended available over on Vimeo. So for those of you that are resonating with this reading, you want to know more, you can follow, follow me over Vimeo where I'm going to get some clarification for you. Uh, where do I want to get clarification? Well, I want to clarify awareness, right? The energy of the magician taking us into your tarot reading. And then I also want to clarify the star card, Aquarius energy. For those of you that may be connected to an Aquarius. And then I want to clarify this Queen of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, as well as the Six of Cups that she's attached to, representing somebody from your past. This person from the past may be in the energy of suffering and silence right now. Or maybe you're in the energy of suffering and silence because you need to get over the past. Um, and then I want to clarify Pisces energy is the moon. As well as Aries energy coming in as the emperor card. And then your energy coming in as the chariot. And since we're on the chariot, let's clarify the unknown card because we can. Because it's unknown. We're curious. And then let's clarify the King of Wands energy. Because I feel like this King of Wands and Queen of Wands, for many of you, are a couple. right? And for, and for others, I feel like we have another couple here because we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups energy as well. These may also represent your same energies. It's the same. It's that same couple. Um, and then I want to clarify Libra's energy coming in as Justice as well as the Three of Swords. Sadness and Grief, let, let's gain a better understanding of that. And then I want to pull an energy for my tarot set called The Good Tarot. And what I want to build upon is I want to build upon this next chapter in your life to see what the energies look like for you moving forward. Okay, Cancer, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the love, for the support that you guys provide me. Wishing you all the very best here in the month of July. Love you guys. And once again, happy birthday, Cancer. I'll see you guys over on the extended video. Thanks.